When it comes to hearing loss, the generation that grew up on loud music and inner city decibels is in a bit of denial. According to the U.S. Centers for Disease Control, an estimated 20% of the U.S. population has some form of hearing loss. However, a majority, 80%, don't do anything to address the issue. It translates to some 98 million Americans who could benefit from some sort of hearing assistance. For some it's not simply denial, they're either not aware of their hearing loss, find the cost of hearing aids, which range from $1,000 to $3,000, prohibitive, or fear the psychological stigma of using a hearing aid. Looks like a Bluetooth device, works like a hearing aid owned solution that's gathering momentum is a device called PSAP, terrible name, by the way, or personal sound amplification product. PSAPs, unlike hearing aids, can be purchased online or over the counter. They're meant to help people who have hearing minor hearing difficulties, those who have trouble hearing in a noisy room or who are prone to blaring their TV sound. PSAP devices have been around for a while, mostly sold on the back covers of magazines to help people hear TV better. Now, thanks to digital technology, Bluetooth, and low-energy batteries, they are a more attractive option. Today's best PSAPs are fully digital. Typically, they are worn in your ear, centered on the ear canal, and look something like a Bluetooth earpiece. Microphones are incorporated in the device, as is a battery. Most interesting is that these devices can be fine-tuned and customized by the user using a smartphone. So, for example, you might adjust your PSAP in a noisy restaurant to position the microphone squarely at the person talking to you and thus reduce background noise. They'll also let a person who's losing the top or bottom of their hearing range tweak and amplify just those levels as well. One of the newest entries in the PSAP market is SoundHot, which was developed by a seasoned audio expert and MD, Rodney Perkins. The company says SoundHawk allows the user to specify sound scenes, adjustments to the environment they're in. The devices cost $299. Other companies producing PSAPs include Edomotic, which also sells a home hearing test, Advanced Bionics, and Able Planet, to name a few. Differences among the models include weight, battery life, user experience, and the software algorithms to improve and customize hearing. The hearing equivalent to red ink glasses according to a study by the Consumer Electronics Association, released just this week, the demand for PSAPs is high. This study found that more than two-thirds, 69% of adult Americans with hearing difficulty, equating to sizable 68 million people, support this idea. The report likens buying a PSAP to reading glasses, purchases, something that we buy off the shelf when we're experiencing difficulty with vision. PSAPs generally cost more, from $150 to $300, than the most expensive reading glasses, but the analogy is apartment. And PSAPs might be a first step for someone who's experiencing the first signs of hearing degradation, baby steps toward treatment by a doctor and perhaps a prescription for a hearing aid. My sense is that PSAPs are an important class of device for anyone who needs a hearing boost. I fully expect that we'll see them sold everywhere, first online and then at retail outlets like Verizon and Apple stores, and Walgreens and CVS. Audiologists will probably recommend them as well. Longer term, they herald yet another step towards bionics, improving human performance beyond its natural limitations. According to the C, PSAPs also offer environmental sound amplification for consumers who are not hearing impaired, like bird watching, listening to lectures with a distant speaker, and listening to soft sounds. My hunch is that PSAPs are getting a toehold into a new market, and tomorrow they'll disrupt the world of hearing aids as we know them.